and welcome back to another early morning video. I am in the fish side of things, which is the aquaponics. All our lettuce are going super, super awesome. A lot of fish in there now. Yes, everything's a little bit crazy. More lettuce there. I even have another system there. We'll deal with that eventually. But this video is not about aquaponics. It is about hydroponics. Who are? I have another box. Yes, I think I'm addicted to late night buying crappy things off eBay. But who isn't really? Yeah, the wonders of Afterpay. Oh yeah, I'll have that. <laughs> Deal with it later. So this box was about $120 Australian, which is about $6 American or 10 million rupees. I have no idea. Yes, it is a Beto bucket hydroponic system. It is a very small box. So I'm gonna get this out and see what I've got because yeah, it was one of those random impulse buys. Let's pull all the stuff out of the box. Okay, there was a lot more in that box than what it looked like. Wow, okay. So, stereotype Beto buckets, which if you haven't seen one of these before, they have water in the bottom, water trickles through, and then goes back into pipes and into your main reservoir thingy. Looks like you've got five of those. I think one of these is technically used for the water and recirculating because it's just a standalone little system. I thought, yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah, look at that. So that's what it's supposed to be set up like. So you actually get all the pipe work that goes underneath the buckets. So that is good. And you pretty much get everything. Yeah, you get the pump. You get all the little fittings that you need. Oh, look, there's even a little clear straw thing. That thing there that tells you when you're running out of water in there so you can top it up. That's why there's holes drilled in that bucket. Simple pump, looks like maybe I'm guessing about a 500 litre an hour pump, something like that. Decent amount of tubing. Ah, look at that. Wow, that's interesting. So you have your little bits for your bits and your things and your stuff. But what we haven't had before in any of these systems is tops for those. And, oh, if they'll come out, decent sized pot, which will sit like that. Okay, well, that's easy. And you actually get media. I'm pretty sure those are those little fired clay ball things. What are they called? Starts with L, something like that. Looks like enough for those pots. Well, that's interesting. So, we are going to set it all quickly up and see what's what. That was super, super easy. Hmm. First impressions are, yeah, it is not bad if you don't want to go to hardware stores and get all these bits and pieces. And if you've ever done that before, it's frustrating. You don't know how many elbows you need. Then you need the right size, diameter, and all that sort of carry on. But this sort of system does everything for you, which is easy if you sort of just want to do that. The pots are a decent size. I mean, everything looks a little bit tacky. We might have to spray paint these so they're not dodgy looking plastic. I don't know, maybe some fluorescent glow in the dark color would be cool. <laughs> but otherwise, it seems pretty easy. You have these little stakes, you have your drippers. I haven't cut all this cord because you get one piece, so it's not pre-cut, so you can sort of adapt it to whatever you want, I guess. One problem we have got with this though, is they've got a lovely hole in here. Your pump is in there for your connectors and your little lines and that. But they didn't have a hole for your cord, which is just silly. So not too hard to fiddle with that. You just have to cut a little slot in there and have the cord recessed down so this lid will actually clip on. But why would they do that? I can't figure out where the cord would go. There's no hole for the cord. Yeah, so maybe they just forgot about that, but you know. Otherwise, that is the system. Super, super easy. This is going to be fine for growing things like peppers, um, tomatoes, and stuff like that. I'm not too sure what we're going to grow in it, but we are going to use it and grow something in it. I might even go weird and use a solar pump instead of that pump on it, because we can do that. If you haven't seen any of my other systems, I have lots of solar pumps going. So there's a solar pump, which is in this big pool here with a giant Murray Cod which a Murray Cod, there's the silhouette there, is a huge Australian native fish. They'll get 
pretty much the size of this tub, so it takes a while to grow. But that there is our solar panel. Don't have enough sun just yet, but when it does turn on, yes, turn on the sun, uh, the water will pump up there and go through all this. And there is our baby lettuce, which are going well. I know, I need a little bit more nutrients in that. But as I said, this is aquaponics, so the fish is producing the chemical waste. This is hydroponics, so we just have our two supplements that we pop into this bucket with water and it recirculates through the whole system. But the way that this works is obviously the pump will pump the water through the little pots, it'll trickle down, and then, well, oh, we can get that open, goes through that little hole there, into this little bit here, and then back into there. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out what is wrong with this system. It depends how much water you have in there, doesn't it? What if these are not sealed? Oh. If those aren't fully wedged in and sealed, and you have water in here, the water's just gonna go back out and flow over these. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Part two of this video coming up when we fill it with water and we see what happens. Was the title of this video, Complete Disaster Don't Buy This? Or does it work? I don't know if I trust those little tiny bits of plastic to seal the whole unit. <laughs> usually you would have your little wezegra, wezegua, what am I saying wezegua? You'd usually have your little wezegua down below. So the water goes down with gravity then pumps back up. I'm starting to see issues with this. Let's jump a little bit and see how it goes. <laughs> And for this test, I'm just gonna fill this bucket up with water. Hopefully the water will just go through the PVC pipe and into these, but the only sealing bit is a little bit of plastic, well, like a little bit of plastic tubing on the little connectors, which is not really gonna be strong enough, I don't think, to stop any leaks or anything like that. Uh, anyway, we are going to fill this with water and see what happens. The moment of truth, we have Water slowly filling up. I mean, it is outside, but I don't want to flood absolutely everything like I usually do. <laughs> but yeah, I think if it does flood, the only easy option is to have these suspended on like a PVC frame and have that underneath. And you could easily turn this around so that you've got the water dripping down with gravity, which is the simple, normal, every way every way, every day design of these sort of things. Well, our water is going through the little hole so far. We don't have any leaks yet, but I think as the water, oh, there it goes there, starts to come out of these pipes. Oh, come on. I probably should have turned it on a little bit faster. Surprisingly, It is not leaking. What on earth? Ah. And we have a skink that was in our garden hose. You just wander off. Good little lizard. Well, this is interesting. It's not actually leaking. I was like... 100% sure it was going to start leaking from that, but we'll see how it goes with more water in the system. Okay, I cannot believe this system works. And now thinking about it a little bit more, the weight of the water in these tubs is actually pushing it down into those little tees. Wow. Well, I'd definitely be an idiot, wouldn't I? Well, I didn't say it wouldn't work, but I suspected it wouldn't work. But it seems to be working. We probably don't want any more water than that because it's going to start overflowing, so we'll turn that water off. It seems to be fine. So when you've got your pump in there and you're pumping your water into these little pots, the water's going to trickle through these back into this pipe and then back into there. There are no leaks. Wow. Okay. That is a good little system. I mean, down the track, you might get a few leaks in that, but in reality, it's, what, 
probably about six liters of water, the whole system. So if it does leak, you can just fiddle with it. I mean, you could always put something around the little joins if you're worried, but yeah, there's not even a drop of water. That is bizarre. So I think for the price and what you get, it is not a bad little system. You could modify it so that that bit is below and gravity just trickles the water into it, but you don't really need to. If you just want a simple little hydroponic system for outside on a patio or something like that, I obviously wouldn't trust it in a carpeted room. <laughs> well, that seems to be fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna turn the pump on in this video. This will be in another future video. and You'll see it going and all that. As I said, I may use a solar pump for it and just have it go on in the daytime, off at night. So if you do want a simple little hydroponic setup and you don't want to stuff around with getting your own pipes and buckets and drilling holes and all that sort of stuff, this is ready to go. Yeah, surprisingly not too bad. So congratulations eBay for selling more stuff that is not complete trash. <laughs> and I'm sort of glad that I didn't buy something that was complete trash. Mm. I would still paint these to stop any UV light from damaging them over time because they're just plastic. Sort of what I did with this system here. So these are just cheap PVC pipe from eBay, but we've just painted them black with non-toxic non spray paint. And yeah, they'll last a lot longer in the UV. If you did enjoy this video, click the thumbs up so I know. If you want to see more random videos of me buying dodgy stuff off eBay and seeing if it works or not, just comment down below or click the thumbs up and subscribe. We will see you in the next video.